this is Rick with Shooter 1721. Look what we got here, the AEA HP Max 30 Cal. That's a mouthful, but whoo we got an awesome little truck gun here. You're probably wondering what optics we got on here. We have the Arius 1 to 6 on here with a 24 millimeter objective right here, 30 millimeter tube, first focal plane. I think this is an outstanding optics for this gun, especially for a truck gun having a 1 to 6. But that's enough talking about this. Let's just get over to the bench and shoot this. Whoo, it's cold today. You can see we got snow and it's March, mid-March, and we got snow here in PA. And uh, I'm gonna use the lab radar today. We're gonna give us a try and we're, it's probably 20, 20 degrees right now. <laughs> and, uh, but who cares? We're out here shooting air guns, having fun, doesn't matter. All right, let's shoot the shot string here and, and see what we get on the lab radar here. Now, with it being this cold, uh, I'm going to say that the numbers would climb in, you know, 50, 60, 70 degree weather. It'd be a lot higher. So let's see where we start out at here. At uh, 3,600 bill. Eight sixty four. I don't know about you guys, but I, I think that that's for a pistol and 30 cal truck gun. I think that's pretty cool. All right, let's see what else we got here. Okay. And you can see as we do this, you're gonna watch it decline because that's how this works. It's not regulated, so it's just, you're gonna see that cliff and you're gonna see it drop off. But let's walk through it. So I saw a little bit of difference on the target down there. So, all right. Okay. I think that's shot ten there. Very respectable yet. Let's just let's just go through the mags here. And you can watch it just coming down. feel the difference there. And that was it. So, all right. Well, there you go. I mean, that, that walked us through. I think that's 18 shots, and that's where we ended up. So, I think that that's that's respectable. I think that's pretty good. And the group down there is not too bad. It, you can't see the film crew guys, but they're back there. So, what do you guys think? Looks good to me. Looks pretty good. Uh, all right. Want to shoot some slugs? Let's go for some accuracy. Oh, okay. Let's do some accuracy. Okay. Well, we're here for the accuracy. We got some FX forty-four seven five pellets. And then we got some FX hybrids right here. And uh, they're almost the same, they're 44 fives. So I got a mag of each, a pellet. We'll start off with the pellets. See, I got a little bit of a wind flag here going that you can see we got a nice wind today at 50, but we got the Pennsylvania grizzly bear down there. And uh, we're gonna take five shots at him. I'll shoot at his chest with the five 
uh, with the pellets and then we'll shoot hybrids for the head and see how they do. Uh, the wind today I'd say is about an 8, probably 8 to 10. If you look over there at the bamboo you can see what I'm talking about. So we'll see what kind of group we can do and uh, let's get this, bring this up, get our lab radar going. Okay. Hopefully. There we go. All right. Okay. Make some little adjustments here. And there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mr. Pennsylvania Grizzly Bear, he's not liking that. He is smoked on that one. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I felt the wind come up on that one. All right, let's get this last one here. You see that Ryan wing got me on that one? Yep. Ah. I felt it pick up too. Uh, you know what people are going to, there's no wind. I don't see any wind. I don't see the grass moving. Dude, you can't deny it on this one. Ah, my goodness. All right, let's throw some hybrids in. And uh, we know the velocity will be down because I'm not filling. I'm just going to shoot. We're just going to shoot the hybrids and see what we get here. All right. All right, headshot, Pennsylvania grizzly bear. Uh, I'm sure it'll drop a little bit. Oh, that looked good. A little bit of wind movement, but yeah, you can see it coming down. You're gonna see a little bit of that. Look at that group though. And there you go. You're able to shoot pellets and slugs at 50 yards. I mean, that's not super tight or anything, but you know, a little bit of adjustment there. And when it's not, you know, 20 degrees out, but well, there you go. There's some accuracy for you. HP Max 30 Cal. Man, it's hard to believe you can get folding stock and everything with this. That's just, what an awesome truck gun. All right, let's see what else we can get into. Okay, we're at 100 yards now. And uh, I'm going to adjust this here. And we're going to see if we can get some body shots on. I'm really kind of guessing what we got with these. We're not using any slugs. We're just using pellets right here. And we're going to shoot 100 yards, see if I can put some in the center of him at 100. All right, I guess I think I'm guessing a little too much. I'll make a little bit of adjustment. All right. Okay. Try that again. Oh yeah. We got a little bit of wind play. Let me get this corrected. bit more <laughs> there we go it took me a couple shots to get on to what we wanted to do there and we put one dead center that's just raw shooting right there and put one right in the center of that Pennsylvania grizzly bear but you can see it a hundred yards I mean we were able to just make wind calls there and uh, the wind actually eased up on me for that last shot but there's a hundred yards out of a basically a pistol in my opinion it's a little carbine but that's amazing shooting at 100 there that's that's pretty nice and that was me just shooting on the fly so that was like I, i'm gonna hold here see where it hits hold here hold here and then we were able to put one dead center well there you go there's 100 yards let's see what else we got
All right, let's do the trigger pull test on this guy and see what we got. I know it's going to be a heavier trigger. I don't know what it's going to be, but let's see what we get here. Okay, that's exactly about what I was thinking about. It's three pounds, six ounces. So, yeah. All right. Go to another one. We'll give it. Now that time we went up to four pounds, four ounces. Okay. I'm gonna go lower on the trigger here and see if that makes a difference. Nope, four pounds, seven ounces. So that's about, when you're squeezing this trigger, you know you're squeezing, you, you know that it's there. It has a heavier trigger pull, but for me it's not. I know when it's gonna break, I can actually feel it. A couple of features about this gun, you know, you're looking at your tank size, you got 300 cc's here, you got a 13 inch barrel on this. Uh, with, with this folded, okay, with this folded, you're looking at uh, 20 inches right there folded. And overall, probably 31 inches. Um, I think the pound, it, I think its uh, weight is like 4.8 pounds. And, uh, and it has a 11 millimeter uh, dovetail on top. Overall, this is an excellent gun. Um, very, very happy with that. But let's see what else we got going on. All right, what we learned about the HP Max here, 30 cal, we learned it's a shooter, that's for sure. We saw the feet per second. You know, you're up there, you're getting close to almost 80 foot-pounds out of a pistol. To me, that was amazing. You got to see the accuracy, like I said, at 50, but then 100. You know, you got to see raw shooting just with the wind, figuring out what the drop was, and then we came back to a center hit on that. But it shows you even at 100 yards, this little guy has the accuracy. I, I can't thank uh, Arius Optics enough for sending the, the optics to us. We really appreciate that. Big shout out to you guys. Thank you so much. But Utah Air Guns, Justin Jacobson, thank you so much for sending us this, giving us a chance to review this. Uh, that is awesome. Really appreciate Utah all the time. And uh, I'm telling you, this just goes down to 20 inches and then I mean this is nice and solid too the stocks is really nice that's one thing I didn't really talk about in the video but super nice fully adjustable too uh, if you're looking for a truck gun you're looking to have some fun with a 30 cal this is the guy here this is Rick with shooter 1721 thanks for watching